I'm Tamara Knapp. Kathleen Horn. Victoria Dominicello Anderson. We're from Expressive Arts Florida Institute. And today we want to share with you a collaborative process that is based on one of our guiding principles. Mm. As we believe in collaborative and community art making as a pathway for community wellness, for building relationships, for social change, and even planetary healing. So today what we're going to do is we're going to create a piece of a collaborative art in this mandala together at the same time, share that process with you, and then talk about it a little bit afterwards and what we've gleaned from that. We're coming to this as part of one of our business practices. This is what we do together to engage our own imaginations and each other's creative wisdom to grow in our business and to access what it is that we need for the next steps. So that's the question we're looking at mm -hmm. today is mm -hmm. what is next? and we'll engage with that now and share that with you. Oh, I think we finished our painting. Um, and we looked at it from some different angles and so far we seem to be um, uh, preferring it this way. That could change. And we did some writing. We each did some writing and um, I think what we'll do is just uh, take a few phrases from our writing and kind of read them collaboratively and see what happens when we do that. So, yeah. yeah. Let's just do it. Okay. I imagine a new way of looking and a new way of seeing. I see fine brush strokes of color as they pull away from the center. I see light filled spaces and flowing forms. I imagine courage to follow the possibilities. I imagine a strong foundation that will support it all. I imagine open spaces with room to grow, inclusive and celebratory. I imagine a bond that has been created for life. I imagine them spreading their wings outward to where the space is open. Defining their own lines and crossing over to complement each other's. Places to travel and places to rest. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we get excited. Yeah, yeah we're gonna so, have to, so yeah, like, we'll have to write those down together. Spontaneous and beautiful. Yeah. 
we used, um, we each used the writing prompt, um, I see, mm -hmm. I feel, I imagine, which I originally learned that from Sally Atkins, right. is that, uh, yeah, yes. mm -hmm. so thank you Sally if you ever watch this, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So maybe now we will kind of step out from the process yeah. and step back and share um, whatever there might be that um, happened for us, mm -hmm. or we noticed, or whatever. Um, well, I felt immensely grateful to be painting together. Like mm -hmm. that was, I think, one of the <laughs> first things that, and it yeah. kept resurging yeah. and, you know, that's, it's kind of interesting because it is one of our foundational principles. Mm -hmm. It's one of our foundational practices as a collaboration, a business and a training program is that we make art together. And we also succumb to the belief that we're um, too busy and um and yeah it's when we return to the practice that we really do find our ground mm -hmm. and and really do i think create that space for new possibility mm -hmm. and since we're creating mm -hmm. new possibilities in general we um, yes. return to the practice to allow that to emerge, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, I feel restored mm -hmm. and excited. And, yeah. I like the way that the art, the image, informs me of things that I really need, but I had no idea at the time. Mm -hmm. um, as we were looking at this image in uh, various ways, I noticed that there was a, a line that was a little darker that kept drawing my attention right here and this one and then this one that felt like the foundation was really strong and Kathleen reminded me that that's where we started on the on the image and it was like of course <laughs> hello <laughs> you know yeah Right? Um, it's just like always amazing. And it also mm -hmm. helped me to feel grounded my, in myself as we move forward, which is another part of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I noticed um, that when I was painting that sometimes I was focused on like the filling an area or taking a watery stroke across an area. Other times I was focused on the tiniest little details. Mm -hmm. And it's so um, similar to how I spend my days in this, mm -hmm. yeah. this work that we have in, in, in um, yeah. holding our partnership and running our business and our training program is that mm -hmm. there are times when I can spend hours on the tiniest of details and other times where I feel like I'm um, like like this like big paintbrush full of like <laughs> yellow going all the way across the page and and I also noticed that sometimes when I was painting the tiny little details, I, f I felt really far away from the center. And I would yeah. like then kind of consciously take my brush and go back to the center yeah. and pull out. So it was like I kept wanting, I'd yeah. forget yeah. and then I'd want to return to the center. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. That too has a million metaphors to right. explore. Right. <laughs> I had a yeah. similar experience where I, I, I would get involved in something, you know, um, and then I realized that I had no idea what either of you were doing and I was completely <laughs> oblivious to anybody else. Right. 
and then other times when I felt like I was just sort of doing my part. Mm -hmm. I also trusted though, and I know, like I knew that you were both doing your parts, yes. but there was this sense of sort of being unaware of where I connected to mm -hmm. your parts. And then mm -hmm. I had other moments of like creating a little bit of sort of a, a boundary kind of, and then mm -hmm. allowing things to happen within it. And I really love that with the watercolor and I love that in my expressive arts work is you know creating a structure and then allowing everything to happen within that and trusting that it will do just what it needs to do mm -hmm. um, so there were I had those little metaphors happening for me mm -hmm. that were really exciting and um, and also um, very interesting you know curious yeah. So. yeah as you both talked about that I, I um, resonated with that because I noticed now that, I, that it's been mentioned yeah. mm -hmm. I noticed that every time I went back to the center I mostly had to touch one of your strokes right mm -hmm. and I was a little hesitant it was an interesting thing my little brain was saying oh don't make this look messy you know so I just delicately did that, and it was mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. And then I did create a couple of little little borders and boundaries, as you, mm -hmm. as you were talking about that. Mm -hmm. And I think that was just so that I think that was you know, for myself, a lot of what we do, we need to go back mm -hmm. to ourselves. We need to mm -hmm. go back to our found. We need to have a foundation that we grow all the time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd be all out here in this yellow everywhere in the yellow <laughs> but you know like I felt that that's kind of what we all were doing really just in our own way mm -hmm. yeah it's just like it's it's very healing it's very yeah. like you know community oriented yeah. I didn't have a lot of tension around um, like who was doing what I found mm -hmm. myself um, really attending to what I was doing and being um, really interested and fascinated by how the whole was emerging and yeah. each time we turned it it was like another invitation right. mm -hmm. um, so I think as I think about that I think about um, really a feeling of trust like yeah. I just mm -hmm. I really trusted that um, yeah. If we each did our thing the mm -hmm. way that we do mm -hmm. it, um, <laughs> it comes together in a whole. Right. And, yeah. and yeah. sometimes the inner critic just pops up. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you know, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had that with these pieces here. Yeah, I was like, like, oh, that's kind <laughs> of a muddy, earthy color. It doesn't go with all their pretty, pure, like, and it was just like it went like me through my right, hand. Right, right out. <laughs> yeah. You know, so like those of you who may think that we don't experience all those things oh. that you experience <laughs> when we work together, even though it's been, you know, almost ten years with the institute, it it is it still happens. Mm -hmm. And we the basis is trusting, like Kathleen said, you know, that that it'll all work out and it does. Yeah. One thing I was aware of, where there were some times when I wanted to go outside the circle. Mm -hmm. Like, just, I had the, like, urge to go outside the circle. And it wasn't, like, a forceful thing, but it was like, well, maybe this little leaf shape could just, like, wander off a little bit into the space, you know? But I really, I knew I wasn't going to do that unless somebody else did it. Oh, that was so there was some consensus. Yes, exactly. Like I didn't, and we weren't talking, so right. I wasn't going to say, "Is it okay if I go outside the circle?" So I figured I'd just like hold that, and it it is the mm -hmm. it is the boundary that I was the most conscious of because it also in my writing one of the things I said was I feel a desire to move outside the circle, and also reassured by the containment yes. of the circle. Mm -hmm. And right now, looking at it, I feel very grateful that everything is held in the circle. Um, but I know there is a bit of, like, um, 
feel that like we have the need to move beyond whatever limitations we've set for ourselves or whatever um, like yeah. boundaries right. and I also have immense respect for mm -hmm. the holding and the boundaries so I'm just noticing that in myself yeah the yeah. tension of the mm -hmm. two things yes. is really important to bring awareness to that yeah mm -hmm. I, I would like to just say to those who are watching the video that the part that where we were painting that we did not have any verbal um, they, they may not realize this mm -hmm. because um, it's um, and time-lapse video so there actually it, it we were silent and just just painting so really just focused on the visual mm -hmm. and and there wasn't any verbal interaction yeah. and then afterwards we spent some time writing each individually and then we shared those and then together we put those phrases um, you know together as you saw for the first time so mm -hmm. just in terms of the process yes. and how we work Sometimes we might talk when we're actually painting, but oftentimes we just get very um, quiet mm -hmm. and are very focused on the process of painting together. So, returning ah. to our guiding principle. Yes. Yes. Right. right. And how this can collaborative art can be used in so many ways, and for us it's a very meaningful and important part of our practice together. Mm -hmm. And that goes for both self and others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, really, yeah. yeah. I feel like, um, I don't know how much time we spent painting because I totally lost track <laughs> of that, but um, uh, I know I that if we had simply talked for the time that we were painting, yeah. Um, although I'm sure we would have accomplished some things, I feel like with this process, there's all this material to mm -hmm. um, engage with and be curious about and that it really feels like it's helped move um, our kind of conversation about what's next um, to another level and it gives us something that mm -hmm. we can see right. that we can refer to mm -hmm. in our discussions. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs>